The first fundamental theorem of calculus states that if f is continuous on the closed interval AB, then the derivative of the integral of the function f of t with respect to t from a to x is equal to the function f of x, where x is inside the interval or closed interval a, b. Now let's put it into general expression. So let's say we have uh, g of x is equal to the integral of f of t with respect to t from a to u of x, u of x. Okay, and then we need to find the, the first derivative of g of x. So in this case, uh, the derivative of g of x is equal to the derivative of the integral of f of t with respect to t from zero to u sub t, so u, uh, u sub x. And uh, this would be equivalent to, this would be equivalent to uh, f of u of x times the derivative of u of x. So this is what the first fundamental theorem of calculus wanted us to tell about. Now let's try to apply uh, this fundamental theorem of calculus number one into a problem. So let's say the problem is f of x is equal to the integral of the square root of the function or the square root of t cubed plus four uh, with respect to t from zero to x. So we need to find the derivative of the function f of x. So in this case, uh, we know that uh, by applying the first derivative, uh, the first fundamental theorem of calculus, the derivative of f of x is equal to the derivative of the integral of uh, square root of t cubed plus four with respect to t from zero to x. So let's apply how it is being done. So in this case, since it's just x, so let's say this is u of x. So in this case, uh, we let, let uh, u of x is equal to x. So in this case, this would be equal to the square root of u of x cubed plus four times the derivative of u of x. Now let's simplify or substitute the values of the function u of x. So since u of x is equal to x, so this is just x cubed plus four times the derivative of u of x, that's uh, du over dx is equal to one. So this is just equal to one. That's why the derivative of f of x is equal to the square root of x cubed plus four. So this is now the final answer. In this case, since the upper limit here is just an x, okay, a very simple uh, equation or expression, then we just need to substitute that to the t, okay, variable t inside a function. So that's how we do the first fundamental theorem of calculus. On my next video, uh, let's try to solve another problem, uh, which is the applic wherein the, the first fundamental uh, theorem of calculus will be applied as well. Thank you.